Sometimes uh, atheist humor has a point. It has a. It has a. Um, uh, it Massive. has legs. It has. It has magic. Teeth. It has teeth. It has noodly appendages. <laughs> I have been so, touched by his noodly appendage. appendage. So there is this phenomenon called uh, the flying spaghetti monster um, that is, uh, is is pretty darn wonderful. I, I have to say it. I'm and a pastafarian. You're pastafarian. Okay. Well, let's explain what that is. It all started with a letter to this Kansas school Kansas school board. Who by, were insane, by the way, and by, thankfully have been voted out. Right. By by a concerned citizen, who was who was concerned about this idea that they should treat teach um, creationism in schools and such, and so he writes um, in his open letter. I'm writing you with much concern after having read your. You're hearing to decide whether or not the alternative theory of intelligent design should be taught along with the theory of evolution. I think we can all agree that it's important for students to hear multiple viewpoints so they can choose for themselves the theory that makes the most sense to them. I'm concerned, however, that the students will only hear one, the, one theory of intelligent design. Let us remember that there are multiple theories of intelligent design, and, and many others around the world are of the strong belief that the universe was created by a flying spaghetti monster. It was he who created all that we see and all that we feel. We feel strongly that the overwhelming scientific evidence pointing towards, his evo this, pointing towards the evolutionary process is nothing but a coincidence put in place by him. It is for this reason that I'm writing you today to formally request this alternative theory be taught in your schools along with the other two theories. In fact, I will go so far as to say that if you do not agree with this, you'll be forced to proceed, we will be forced to proceed with legal action. I'm sure you see that we are where we are coming from. If the intelligent design theory is not based on faith, but on, on an in, instead on other scientific theory, it, as it is claimed, then you must allow our theory to be taught as it is also based on science, not faith. Some find it hard to believe that, that it may be so, so helpful to tell, so it may be helpful to tell you a little bit more about our beliefs. We have evidence that a flying spaghetti monster created the universe. None of us, of course, were around to see it, but we have written accounts of it. We have several lengthy volumes explaining it in all details, uh, in all details of his power. Also, you may be surprised to hear that there were over 10 million of us in, in growing. We tend to be very secretive, as many, many of us claim our beliefs are not stand, uh, substantiated by uh, observable evidence. What these people don't understand is that he built the world to make us think the er, world, the earth is older than it really is. For example, a, th a scientist may perform carbon dating process on an artifact. He finds, uh, if, a, if a scientist performs carbon dating process on an artifact, he finds that approximately 75% of the carbon-14 has decayed by electron emission to ni nitrogen-14, and then infers that this artifact is approximately 100,000 years old, as the half-life of the carbon-14 appears to be 5,730 years but what the scientist may not realize is that every time he makes a measurement, the flying spaghetti monster is there changing the results with his noodly appendage. We have numerous texts that describe in detail how this can be possible and the reasons why he does this. He, does this, he is, of course, invisible and can pass through normal matter with ease. I'm sure you now realize how important it is that, that students be taught our, our, this alternate theory. It is of absolute imperative that they realize that the observable evidence at the is at the discretion of a flying, a flying spaghetti monster. Furthermore, it is, it is a disrespect to teach our beliefs without wearing his chosen outfit, which of course is full pirate regalia. Uh, I cannot st stress the importance enough and, the f and unfortunately describe in detail why this must be done. I fear this letter is becoming too long. The concise explanation is that he becomes angry if we don't. You may be interested in knowing that global warming Earthquakes, hurricanes, and other natural disasters are an effect of the shrinking number of pirates since the 1800s. For your interest, uh, I, you can go to the slide, guys. I have included a, a graph of the approximate number of pirates versus the average global temperature over the last 200 years. As you see, there's a statistically significant inverse relationship between pirates and global temperature. In conclusion, thank you for your time and and to hear our views and beliefs. We ho I hope that I was able to convey the importance of teaching this theory. We will, of course, be able to train teachers in this alternative, alternate theory. I eagerly await your response and hope 
dearly that no legal action will be, need to be taken. I think that we can all look forward to the time when these three theories are given equal time in our classrooms across the country and eventually the world, one third time for intelligent design, one third time for flying spaghetti monsterism, and one third time for the logical conjecture based on overwhelming scientific evidence. Sincerely yours, Bobby Henderson, Concerned Citizen. P.S. I have included drawings of him creating mountains, trees, and a midget. Remember, we are all his creatures. Now, I want to say here uh, that, that, that this, is, this is an amazingly well-founded uh, theory in, in science. We have a science out in space for, 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 for flying spaghetti monsters' sake. We have, we have uh, uh, nebulas with noodly appendages. It's just very clear. Plus, he's given us wonderful meals that exactly replicate what he, what he appears as. Right, right. You know, and and there's evidence in our own DNA. Right. You know, Jesus Jesus doesn't have it. There's no there's no evidence in in. I in don't our DNA. see no Mother Mary uh, in uh, that the, DNA the, picture. The, right, of the flying spaghetti monster. Um, it, for those of you who are concerned about this being a new theory, well, we have 4,000 year old noodles. These right. were recently discovered. It, it shows that it's it's a it's a long-standing religion, um, and it's been the inspiration of great art such as such as the uh, Sistine Chapel. Uh, and it's been Which was covered uh, up <laughs> in a conspiracy by some Christians, right? To they, replace the truth them. of the flying spaghetti monster with some bearded guy in the sky, right? Right. It's crazy. And, and what great religion would exist without car emblems and, and pendants you can wear around your neck, right? So, so, and and to add to it, we have all sorts of academic endorsements, uh, just pages and pages of them. So here's one. As a scientist, I'd like to say the currently accepted scientific theory of, of, is evolution, but, but some competing ideas have been proposed, such as ID and flying spaghetti monsterism. And in discussion, and discussion to include both should be, should, discussion to include one should include the other, as these ideas are equally valid. Yes. Mark Zerberchen, PhD. Um, we have another one here. One of the hardest things to do as a scientist is to put my personal beliefs aside when discussing matters of science. As a professional, I have to say both forms of intelligent design, ID and IDFSM, are equally valid, and intelligent design taught in school equal time should be given to the flying spaghetti monster theory and the non-flying spaghetti monster theory. Uh, but speaking personally, I know it seems to me that the flying spaghetti monster theory is much more plausible than the non-flying spaghetti monster theory, ID theory, because uh, is the only one of the two that takes into account the discrepancies between ID and measurable objective reality. Professor Douglas Shaw, PhD. So we got all sorts of endorsements. And um, so pulling, pulling out of the humor a little bit here, this, this phenomenon, this letter I read, this open letter, actually was sent to the school board, and they actually did respond to it. And there actually was this, this um, uh, internet sort of... Um, uh, meme virus that, that, that went out across the world and, and did get a lot of attention in a very humorous way to pointing out the, uh, the school board and, and the actions they were doing. And I, I'd like to say it, it made a difference. It's one of the most brilliant things I've ever read. And it became insanely popular, not just because it's funny, but because it is it actually insightful. Um, you know, kind of like the kissing Hank's ass thing when Christians say, oh, that's a parody of Christianity when nobody said it was. Um, obviously, there's something in there. The reason the ID folks get upset about flying spaghetti monster stuff is because those two theories are on equal footing. And, and maybe, maybe just maybe, depending on how you put it together, um, the FSM theory is on better footing. Uh, yeah. Because basically intelligent design, when, they, when the, the ID folks, especially like from the Discovery Institute, who are not, not too thrilled right now with Behe's new book, Michael Behe, um, he's spinning down the toilet. Oh, wow. He accepts evolution is true, the earth is old, common descent is true. Every, everything... <laughs> he just wants to get a paycheck from the Discovery yeah. Institute. Um, all of this stuff is true. <laughs> he accepts all of it, and then he says, oh, but wait, there's a couple of things that just appear a little bit too difficult for nature to have done it themselves, and that's where God comes in. And now, after touting him as years as an expert, uh, you know, look, here, here's a brilliant scientist who supports intelligent design. Um, well, now they're shying away from him a little bit, or at least some are. I mean, he's, he's certainly... Well, he's still on the dole, from, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, 